but how many of you out there are still running Delves? How many of you quit running them? Please let me know in the comments. Today I want to talk about the state of Delves and what they need to fix them as an endgame system, because right now they're falling short. The first problem is they have a rapid gear fall off. They get to a point where they no longer have value to you as gear. And that in itself is fine if they don't want them to actually be like too lucrative, which I get. You can't just have myth track gear dropping from Delves because then why even do raids or mythic plus? But at the same time, you also can't have the great gear fall off so rapidly that you have no reason to run them at all, even for Vault. Like it's come to the point already to where there's generally no reason to do these Vault slots anymore. Like, what am I going to get from it? I'm 619 in every slot, 619 or above. There's nothing in that Vault slot that would be good, except for maybe gambling for tertiary slots or sockets. But ultimately, you get to a massive DR very quickly running Delves to where you just, there's no further gear progression. And on top of that, the gear's not even that good to begin with. These Delve trinkets, for example, they are mediocrity at best. They're just not very good. I keep them in my bag because I have this copium that maybe Blizzard will buff them at some point. And if they do, I'm going to be like, well, I got them all. You know, like Pokemon. But ultimately, pretty much any trinket from any other game activity will stomp a Delve trinket, except for maybe the Ritual Knife, depending on your class. But even still, you can just outclass that with something like this. The pheromone secretor, if you can min max it, because you can, if you pick up the orbs, you get way more primary stats than this provides. And still, I'll get to build your own secondary stats with it as well. So, really, the trinkets are garbage. And lastly, the track rewards are even underwhelming. This is a cool concept in theory. It's similar to Renown and it's long lasting. The problem is. It has like an underwhelming progression to where it's mostly just geared towards decking out your mount. This thing right here that this guy's riding around on. Which is pretty which pre pretty cool mount, don't get me wrong. But the tracks, especially towards the end, are underwhelming. Like this one right here. You work so hard to get access to adventure gear. Adventure gear. This gear is near useless, even if for a person that has an alt holoc. This adventure gear that I haven't even unlocked yet. I've already sharded more of this than I can count. I still have two guild or warbank tabs full of this stuff from other activities. I don't need to unlock it or buy it from here because it drops everywhere. In fact, you go into raid now and you get or mythic plus and you get higher eye level versions or higher tracks than this dropping in the dungeon and raid. So this is practically useless. And it being the final tier unlock too, it's almost a slap in the face. Maybe if that unlock was like over here, it would have felt value. But Blizzard has a habit of doing that with vendors in general, like the Renown. By the time you unlock the champion gear, you didn't need it. They've always been overly, overly requiring on the unlocks to the point where by the time you unlock it, it's useless when it comes to gear. Almost every time, vendors or tracks like this, gear unlocks come too late. Even when you consider alts in this case, because like I said, there's many other activities where you just get this gear filling up your bags constantly. I literally have to go to the bank constantly to dump warband gear into the bank. And I'm now because I just did it recently, but this is useless. 5,000 resonate crystals. Really? Just useless just like at the point you could do your now you can now buy restored copper keys for more gear you don't need it's just again the system is flawed in how overly time gated it is where some of these rewards that they've been shuffled around like they may put like the final tiers of the mount at the end and put like some of the gear unlocks earlier maybe it would have felt less punitive but right now it just feels like a slap and the final issue with Delves really just comes down to the fact that there's literally no reason to push them beyond just doing your eights for gear. And then after that, it's like, that's it. Even Zekbeer is kind of like a one and done. It's not really 
there's no longevity of the content there, and that's where they failed because there's supposed to be an evergreen system that lasts in parallel to Dungeons and Raids. But Dungeons and Raids last much longer because they have higher tiers of content to do. Mythic Plus, you can push keys not only for gear, but for, for IO rating, for uh, prestige. They're never ending. There's always a reason to push harder and harder for like the season title, etc. Delves don't have anything like that. The only thing that Delves do right, really, is they are a fantastic, fantastic gearing system for alts. If I got a character that was fresh 80 right now, the first place I can go to really just get some starter gear for him is going into Delves, doing bountiful Delves, getting gear drops, filling my vaults for Delves. That's where Delves shine. They are really good endgame system for alt catch-up to at least get them into raid and dungeons where they then that alt can also forget about Delves existing. But here's where I think Delves can improve. Number one, it needs more endgame, more reason to push. There's, there shouldn't be, it shouldn't be just get the eight and then stop going. There should be a system where if you keep going, you can build up a player score and maybe Delves can have a regional title too, for the top five percentile of the hardest Delve pushers. In which case, Delves would also need to have a system to where they don't cap out either. They're, they should actually have an infinite number of tiers like dungeons if you had a system like that, so that you could push them to the limit. That way, the content actually does become progressively endless and have longevity. The next suggestion I have for Delves, honestly, is to actually have Gilded Crest drop on the highest Delve difficulty, like when you're doing the real hard ones. And the reason I say that is because it still doesn't trivialize Mythic Plus or Raids, because you still have no access to Myth Track gear, but it'd be a nice incentive to hey, say, hey, I can still keep doing Delves, like do like 11s, because then I can upgrade these items the Hero Track gear the six of six. It would be a great way to uh, incentivize keeping Delves going as a crest farm, but not trivializing the harder content like Mythic Plus and Raids, because you're still not going to have access to any Myth Track gear in your vault or in drops. It would just be a nice token gesture. And my, mind you, it would be tuned appropriately. Like, you're not going to just go in there and face roll the highest Delves, like you do like an eight or below. Next improvement, time consistency. Delves should not take long or longer to complete than a dungeon. Because if they do, then for your, for your time's sake, you might as well just run a dungeon and get more reward for the time invested. Which is why when they buffed the health of the Delves and made everything in meat spawns, they over buffed the health. They should not have gone that far. They need to tone that health back and review the time to complete a Delve. Because if a delve takes 20, 25 minutes to do, you might as well just run a uh, Mythic Plus and get better gear, better crests, and not even bother wasting your time on the delve. Delves are supposed to be quick and efficient solo or smaller group content that doesn't take as much time commitment as a dungeon or raid. That's just my two cents on that. And on top of that, they also need to equalize the time completion for delves because it shouldn't be a case where there's a right delve to run and a wrong delve to run for time efficiency's sake either. I mean, they're not going to be a perfect, like, equal X minutes for all delves, but there are obviously outliers to where they just are consistently much longer versus another delve. That's something they should just kind of go and improve. But overall, the Delve system has just... It's supposed to be evergreen. It's supposed to have some parity with dungeons and raids, and it's just not doing that with how obsolete it becomes. And the obsolescence could really be fixed with just a few tweaks, with time, time efficiency and reward. And I really hope they consider that, because I do like Delves. They were fun. I miss running them. But when I log into WoW, my time is finite. I can't just do everything. So I have to decide where should my time be invested. And when I look at Delves, the answer is pretty much universally no. And that's where they fail.
Anyways, this is a short video, and I just wanted to put it out there on how I feel about Delves. I want to see them succeed too, because the more PvP content, the better. So I just hope my video reaches the ears of people who make these decisions, or at least more players who play these, who can also voice their thoughts on it in the comments below, or directly to Blizzard, and just see what can happen to make Delves just a more promising long-term system. So they don't just become forgotten and left lost on the wayside like scenarios of the past or Isle Expeditions. Because we've seen it before. Isle Expeditions, it was a wash because Blizzard executed... Like, it was a good idea, but it was executed poorly. Scenarios of Mr. Pandaria, they were a good idea, but they were executed poorly, and they just died with that expansion. Even though they've said Delves are evergreen, if Blizzard looks at analytics and goes, yeah, people ran them for three weeks and didn't run them again. So they're a flop. Let's just drop them for midnight. I don't want to see that happen. I want to see Blizzard figure out why people stopped running them and fix it. At the same time, they need to do it in a tactical way to where it's not like a requirement to run them forever and ever and ever. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And, and I'll see you in the next one.